It has been a hot minute since I've done any videos on fashion and style. And that was a category of content that I wanted to make more of on this channel. However, in lockdown, have I been buying new clothes? No, but does that matter? No, is it maybe in fact better for the environment and my wallet? Yes. But basically the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I genuinely believe that there has been a shift, that I have figured out my personal style. Like I've never actually felt a sense of ownership over what I wear. I've never really had a like, oh my God, that is me. That is my uniform. That is what I wear. Oh, I know I can put together these outfits and I'll feel good and it'll look good. I've never had that until now. And I don't know if lockdown has anything to do with it, who knows? But I think it had something to do with um, not really buying any new clothes. I think in the items that I'm going to show you, only one of these has been acquired during lockdown. Everything is stuff that I already owned and basically working and living at home and not really doing much, you know, it's very easy to go into the pattern of not really caring about what you look like and that is absolutely fine. I definitely have been there and was there. But then I just started to be like, oh, do you know what? I need to feel something and putting together outfits and like wearing clothes that made me feel really cool every day like helped with that for me. And then, you know, sometimes I have days where I'm just like, Bleh, do not care. But I started to notice that I would gravitate towards specific things. Now, again, this is going to be specifically like spring, summer uniform wardrobe style um, because that has been the last few months. I don't know if we have lockdown again and it continues into autumn or winter, like how that might change for me, maybe it will. But then also they have the like comfort thing as well of working and living at home. Now the thing that none of these outfits has <laughs> is shoes or bags because I am bad at that. I mostly just wear my trainers or sandals if it's hot enough and bags. I haven't really been using any bags because I haven't been going out at all. But more recently, as things have been easing up, I always have to have water with me, a book, and like my emergency stoma supplies. So I just, I have a backpack basically. Like I don't have like fancy little bags depending on what outfit I'm wearing. Like most days I just use the same backpack. So one of the things that I'm really excited to show you about all of these different outfits is that they kind of mix and match. So I'm gonna take you through all of the tops and then I'm gonna take you through all of the bottoms and then show you all of the different variations that I can create of outfits with all of these. I will also say that I do still consider myself a dress person. I have lots of dresses that I love. However, in this video, I just want to highlight all of my like tops and bottoms mix and matching vibes. And for me, this mixing and matching is where like my epiphany has come. This sense of like knowing my style. Has anyone else had similar epiphanies during lockdown. So not just in terms of the style of the types of clothing, but also in colors. I just noticed that pretty much all of the outfits that I was putting together were yellow, orange, and blue. Those are my main colors. And then white as well. Yellow, orange, blue, and white. Like, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Who is surprised? Not me. And then the other thing that surprised me was the amount of crop tops that I actually own because I used to never wear crop tops because I thought someone who had a body like mine, short, and big breasted and basically like there is nothing between the bottom of my boobs <laughs> and my belly button. It's just like bottom of boobs, belly button. I thought I couldn't wear crop tops and lo and behold, I love crop tops and they look amazing on me. I think that's also to do with like my small waist. So any clothing that kind of like stops at the waist or goes in at the waist is a winner for me. These are the tops. I will talk you through just where they're from and what they are. This is a mustard crop top from Topshop. I got it many, many years ago. This has been a staple in my wardrobe for years. I adore it. This was a recent, if January counts as recent, purchase that I got in a charity shop with my friend Emma and it worked for my Disney bounding <laughs> that I did at the beginning of this year when I was in Disney World. That was in 2020. What? I used it for BB-8. I adore this. I don't know. This has been one of my staples. It's a bit too 
warm to wear now, but oh, in the spring and in the autumn, I'm so ready. Next is this stripey number. It is a crop top polka dot situation. This I got from my friend and future sister-in-law, Bethan. She has a lot of clothes and has been selling them on Depop. And I basically went round at the beginning of the year, like in January time, someone's just like, let me rummage through. <laughs> I get dibs on everything. And even though we're completely different sizes, got a lot of stuff from her. Next is this bad boy. This came as a two piece from ASOS. I got it a couple of years ago. It looks tiny, right? It literally just covers my boobs. My boobs fit in this. It's just all boob. The bottom half of this two piece sadly had to go because they got a unfixable hole in the butt area. But this is very versatile with a lot of my bottoms, as you'll see. This is one of my staples and my faves. It's from Miss Selfridge, but I got it on a photo shoot that I did with Ole last year, and I got to keep the clothes. I got to keep the clothes. And this was one of the things that I wore on that shoot. It has like a stain on it. Where is it? It's like a darker stain somewhere. I think I might try and bleach it because the idea of like getting rid of this, I'm just like, no because it just goes with so many of the different things that I own. This is just a classic gray vest top from H&M. Again, I've had this for years. It goes with pretty much everything I own and it's just very easy. That's all I have to say about that. This is another one from H&M. This for me is just like a good, oh, it's hot, I need something flimsy and light and it's polka dot. There's another polka dot thing in here as well. I like patterns. And then this is from Lucy and Yak. This was gifted. It's got these like cute little sunflowers on it. I love it. Yeah, and this one is also crop top vibes. That is all of the tops. Can you see the theme? Right. <laughs> Bottoms. Some of these are still a bit wet because they were just hanging on the line. These shorts are from H&M, as are these. I got them at the same time a couple of years ago. It was like after I gained all of that weight after coming off the pill and I needed new summer clothes. Like I did not fit into any of my shorts. And so that's where these bad boys came from. These trousers I absolutely adore. They are high-waisted, wide leg, flared situation. And I bought them on that same charity shopping trip with Emma. I feel like I did this with them last time when I originally showed them in a video. <laughs> they have been worn a lot in lockdown. Another pair of high-waisted, flowy trousers. These were gifted from Joni Clothing. They come up a bit shorter, so are they more like culottes? Clots, is that the right word? Rather than being like a wide leg to the floor. But these are glorious. Oh, I don't have it with me, but it came with a belt. And I often wear that belt as a little headband and it's all matchy matchy and fancy. Next is this orange high-waisted skirt. I got this on Depop when I was looking for Disney bounding outfits. This was going to be a BB-8 outfit. Did I say BB-8 for this one? I meant R2-D2. This was meant to be my BB-8 outfit, but it was a bit colder, so I ended up wearing like my orange trousers. This is the only thing that has been acquired during lockdown, and it was gifted from Lucy and Yak, and it's from their new, I think it's called Sundays collection, um, and it's just high-waisted, stretchy, baggy, bright yellow trousers, and because I'm very short, I have to roll them up. These I got in a charity shop ages ago. They're a bit too big for me, but I had them tailored to fit and they're just like polka dot blue shorts. Very handy for the summer. I love these. Next, we just have some classic high-waisted, like cut off light jeans. I got these from ASOS. These are the first pair of jeans that I bought after my surgery because I didn't fit into any of my other jeans. And um, yeah, these have served me well. Oh, and then this is my epic yellow high-waisted skirt that I also got in a charity shop. I saw it on a mannequin in the window of a charity shop, walked past, went in and was like, that, can I try it on please? <laughs> That's happened twice to me now. There's another dress that I owned that I saw on a mannequin in a charity shop and was like, me. <laughs> oh! So, as you can see, there's a bit of a pattern here. Um, and now, here are all of my different mix and matchy outfits that I can possibly think of with all of these different items of clothing. If you can think of any others that you're like, Hannah, you didn't try this, maybe that would work. Oh, do let me know. But without further ado, here is a trying on clothes montage.
so much for watching and letting me indulge myself and in showing off all of my clothes and being so proud of myself for developing a personal style. Guys, it only took me 28 years, but who knows, maybe it'll change again, but I'm very happy. Uh, this, is, this is one of the joys for me personally that has come out of lockdown is that I like feel like I know what to wear each day. I'm like, ah, oh, I will obviously wear something high-waisted with a crop top. Duh. <laughs> I hope you're all doing well and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.